This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm doing a bit of this because I got these for this guy right here. A Galaxy Shuttle. And I'm looking forward to that set because uh, they did something where the uh, alt mode becomes uh, a train from some other random show that I never knew anything about. But and uh, there's also logos to make him a Decepticon, so... I haven't watched uh, the uh, that version of uh, Transformers, that you know, part of the Japanese continuity. So I don't know much about the character. I really just like the mold of the the toy, so that's why I got it. But uh, the stickers looks really good, so um, of course I had to pick them up. But before I apply the stickers, just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of, and also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store. And at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Okay, so, you know, I love those pictures. I can't wait to see what's gonna be the next uh, promo shot from Toy Hacks. They look really good. Uh, the figure, uh, Galaxy Shuttle, looks really good. I like the uh, already painted, you know, the red on the black arms, the uh, metallic blue that matches the visor, you know, that jazz vibe that we get. The Autobot logo here and here. Uh, silver thigh, you know, he looks good, black feet. It, it's a good repaint. I love this mold and I was super excited to, to get him. And now with the decals, uh, that's gonna be interesting. And this decal set is very different because not only do you have, you know, the Galaxy Shuttle naming Robo, CSS Galaxy Shuttle, Orion, the Enterprise, I'm not gonna call it the Enterprise, come on now. I love Star Trek, I love Star Trek, but it, you know, Enterprise doesn't fit here. Uh, but you see that GE999? That's for a show called Galaxy Express. Um, I've never watched it, I don't know what it is, but Toy Hacks, well here's the promo art. This is basically what they're going for. And the uh, that train is from that show, and now you can, I think it's a neat idea, you know, since there was no uh, train mode for Galaxy Shuttle in the show, man, that's a nice nod to something maybe a little more obscure or maybe it's a super popular show that I just never heard of so anyway but I can't wait to apply all of these uh, wonderful decals and uh, to that figure and also you have the red you know Decepticon logos it's kind of weird to have them in red but I guess that's maybe that's part of the uh, the show and I just uh, don't know about it so anyway let's whoop let's uh, final look at the uh, robot mode before the decals Guys, I am so sorry for the unprofessional look of this uh, this shot, but I forgot the two things. I forgot to show you this, and I didn't want to... I'm in the middle of toy axing the guy, so I just realized that uh, I forgot to show you this part. So that's the trailer, or base, or whatever. And blue on silver, gunmetal, you know, with the yellow and kind of matrixy thingy here. Looks good. And the exterior. Pretty much the uh, same thing, same colors. Uh, and then there's toy hacks for that, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. And then uh, this part, um, I I have to give it a toy axe. Uh, they actually have decals for this. So this is how I display the big gun. So it's all the five pieces all put together into a huge kick-ass cannon. So toy hacks is gonna do something for that. Uh, so I was surprised about that. So. All right, so again, sorry about the quality of the shot, but uh, I'm gonna keep on toy axing. All right, and here we are after the decals are applied. We're gonna take a look at the accessories. There's, uh, I combined my gun for this uh, this this figure, uh, unlike Astro Train, but uh, there's one decal around the minigun. Looks really good. And then on the other part, uh, you get on the uh, cluster, or I don't know what the deck called, grenade launcher, or, you know, smart gun, whatever. Iron Man had one like that. Uh, 
It looks like, hold on, it's zooming improperly. But, uh, yeah, it looks really good. What's left of the decals also, I have one visor and then there's all the option for the uh, shuttle robo. Uh, I went with the Canadian option, you'll see in the, uh, I thought that was pretty neat to have a Canadian option for this. Uh, so thank you Toy Hacks, uh, the CSS Orion, the Enterprise, they didn't use those. And then I have some leftovers um, logo. I did use the uh, Autobot logo with the, because they, they have a silver backing. So I think it breaks nice on the white. Uh, but I didn't use the Decepticon ones. Um, I still have a couple of missile pods. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, you use a lot of uh, the set like that. And then the other accessory. Uh, basically, when you unfold it, uh, you have decals here. So when this is clipped like this, it kind of cover half of it. But still, it's really good. I like the design. And on the sides, you have that red line, and then you have all of those silver uh, highlights. So. And they did, I don't know if they had a specific order, really. Uh, Toy Hacks, you know, have this model on, but I guess you could, they're all the same size except for this one who's semicircular. So you probably could just arrange them the way you want. And that's it for the accessory. And now the figure itself. Uh, looks funky. Later. Uh, figure itself looks really good. I do enjoy uh, the new visor. You know, makes it really reflective. They've they've moved to that blue chrome a lot these days. You have that same line, that same you know chrome blue on the top of the wings, on the shoulder, and on the abs. Looks good. You have uh, the decal here, new Autobot logo here. A little highlight on the forearms. Uh, you have uh, red uh, marks on the skirt. And then, yeah, this is where I use the Autobot logo. I chose, you know, properly in shuttle mode, but um, it used to be just the red without the silver around it. So I think that looks good. And then you have the uh, little shin guard, I guess. And a little toe decal. And then this will show more in shuttle mode i think oh pin covers yeah they have uh oh where are they of uh, the arms yeah you can cover this one here there's two sizes so be careful um some of them are going to be used in the train mode so yeah so but i i love pin covers i think it's a really neat idea and nothing in the back so there you go Final look at Galaxy Shuttle after the decals. And here we are with the shuttle mode. And, you know, a lot of people say that this is a terrible mode. I mean, I don't care. This is fantastic. Um, I like the already painted, uh, you know, the windshield, the side here, the Autobot logos, uh, a bit of the, you know, metallic blue still, you know, showing there. The fin highlight looks really good. I, I love this mold already oh i missed uh, didn't clip uh, nice enough all right maybe i missed something there you go you'll see that's the all black underneath and all white on top well almost all white i mean there's a lot more black on this one uh than there is white on the train mode so but i love this shuttle my son loves this shuttle loves to play around with it and just fly you know mainly with astro train but this one's good too. So there you go, final look at Galaxy Shuttle before the decals. And now in shuttle mode, he looks really good. I really like the look with the uh, enhancement. Now, I'm, I'm not a space shuttle enthusiast, so I don't know, you know, if this thing represents something. It could be anything, maybe it's solar panels, you know, for when they're in space to, you know, power up something, I don't know. But it looks really good. I dig the, the, the highlight of this. Uh, new decals on top here of the already painted blue. So the chrome blue with the victory. I think I applied this one pretty good. Uh, then you have this highlight here. So I don't know. Luggage, you know. And then this is the door to enter the shuttle, maybe. I don't know. You have, uh, you know, like I said, the, the pin covers here. And then you have this cover here for the big pin. That looks really good. 
the Autobot logo with the silver backing. That looks good too. This translates from the robot mode. Uh, the other part is underneath here because that's folded up to do the, uh, well, the fin part. And then the fin looks really good. I kind of smudged it a little bit though when I apply it, but you know, it happens. And then you have, these were a little hard to align, but you have all the decals for the window on front. And then you have some pods. Oh, yeah, something I should mention. Oops, sorry. Something I should mention about the uh, the little, uh, you know, guns. That you have two type of decals. You have one that's full circle. That's for the shuttle. And then the ones with the little, little indentures on each side are for the uh, weapon accessory. Uh, nothing in the back, as you can see. And that's pretty much it. I'm trying to see if I missed anything, but uh, I think I covered it all. While the Autobot logo complete with the uh, shin guard now being something else. Alright, well there you go. Final look at Galaxy Shuttle after the decals. And here we are with the fantastic train mode. A couple of gripes I do have is the fact that this floats above the wheel line you know so that's eh, that eh. imagine if this would be like a fully you know sized front end that'd be awesome but i can't wait to see how the all black becomes the uh, galaxy express from that show so that's gonna be interesting but i do love the all black i mean you know this also could have been kind of turned into the uh like maybe the next crossover from Back to the Future with the train, the, the vapor train time machine. So that'd be, uh, you know, just something to, to consider. But can't wait to apply the decals on this thing and uh, make it a completely new figure, basically. Just for, for that mode, that's that's something, you know, toy hacks do have great ideas for customization and stuff like that. You know, it's not always Transformers. Sometimes it's they turn it into a GoBot and it's wow i'm impressed lots of research goes into uh, you know, what they do so fantastic that's why i love them and now final look at galaxy shuttle before it becomes galaxy express all right and here we are with the well the galaxy express and just a bit of story galaxy express is a show uh, it's a jap animation where basically futuristic people uh, and you know they actually use a steam train to travel through space and that's the concept of the show and there's probably more to it but one thing that i found that was very interesting is that it's linked to another popular anime show which was uh, captain harlock uh, whom in quebec we know as albatar and in france as well and he's hugely popular almost as much as grandizer uh, who is goldarak in, in here canada uh, so the, uh, the the basically he uh, Captain Harlock made guest appearances on Galaxy Express, and on Galaxy Express uh, there's two movies uh, other than the show, and they are voiced uh, well he's voiced by Scott McNeil, whom I just recently did a spotlight on. So I thought it was pretty cool to find that bit of information, uh, you know, that Scott voiced a version of one of my favorite characters from my childhood. So pretty cool. But the Galaxy Express stickers, I was hoping for more. Like, it's C1190, uh, which was on the uh, actual train. I'll throw in a picture here. And then the GE999. And that's it. Well, yeah, I guess a pin cover here. And there. But that's, that's it. I was expecting a little more. But, that, I mean, the Galaxy Express did seem to be a very all-black type of... Uh, locomotive so now uh, you know I'm getting paint smudge here on my uh, my hinges that's that's a little sad but you know it's expected so yeah there you go that's the final look of the Galaxy Express uh, before and now uh, let's uh, go for the final thoughts so here we are after the decal application and it's a fantastic set really breaks the white on the shuttle and uh, I wish it would you know, break a little more of the black on the train, but I do like the all black uh, train. And the f nod to the Galaxy uh, Express is fantastic, honestly. Uh, really happy. And then, you know, I discovered a couple things about the, the show and the voice actor, Scott McNeil. So, you know, it's 
It really is fun when you discover new stuff you don't expect and it's, you know, related to a piece of your childhood. To me, that's nostalgia and it hits, hits me right in the right place. So there you go, guys. My final look at Galaxy Shuttle after I applied the decals. I recommend this set if you have Galaxy Shuttle. Absolutely get it because it's worth it. Now, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.